All right, y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. We're looking at a new, well, new to me anyway, uh, kind of form of motorsport, kind of a branch off of typical rally, which you know I've become uh, a huge fan of. This is uh, called autocross, and I think this is done throughout parts of Europe, uh, throughout some different parts. I was told this is from, this was suggested to me by Ram on Discord, so I do appreciate that. And uh, this comes to us from a channel called uh, Rally Scene. Uh, and, of course, this will be linked in the description. So you can watch this whole thing uninterrupted and definitely browse their channel. Uh, this is a longer video, so we're only going to be looking at a few clips. So make sure to check that link out. Anyway, let's take a look. I believe this uh, particular video, I believe, is in Germany. Uh, so if anyone wants to correct me, if that's wrong, please do so. But uh, I'm pretty excited. I really don't know what to expect other than the thumbnail looks like uh, a car's racing in the dirt, right? So let's see what it's like, how it's different from rally, that kind of thing. Here we go. Oh, we got some Audis. Look at how money they are. I love it. <laughs> what an Audi TT? That's different. Oh my God! Playing on airborne. What is that thing? Ooh, ooh, that sounds hella good. Whoa! Look at these things. Oh my God! Busted the the right front. Oh my God, I like this. Damn, that red. Is that an old, is that an old Mitsubishi? I think it is, is that an old Evo? Or, or a Lancer at least? That thing was flying. And these things are so weird, right? Oh, oh. He rode up <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my God. A Honda Civic hatchback. Like an egg hatch, EG. Oh, what is that weird little thing? Okay, so the vibe I'm getting is, first of all, I'm liking it. Second of all, the, what I can compare it to is growing up around a, you know, short track, like as we call them, like shorter NASCAR sh sanctioned tracks where, of course, NASCAR doesn't race there. Very amateur series do. So, we have, uh, you know, regular paved tracks, uh, and then of course dirt tracks, but they're usually ovals, right? <laughs> Obviously, this is not an oval. This is, dare I say, a little more fun because it's got some elevation, like some hills up and down. And I, you know, they're not going in a perfect oval. It doesn't appear to be. Uh, but yeah, we do have dirt track racing with like, and they have different classes. You have full-on dirt late models or dirt race cars. Uh, but then, of course, you have little classes or like amateur classes called like bandits or hornets, depending on the track. And they're basically street cars like Honda Civics, Volkswagens, you know, random Fords, anything you can find, right? That's like a four cylinder and it, they have different classifications. And yeah, it's this kind of reminds me of that. And, it, and that's a good thing. Like, these look like not full on half a million dollar race cars, these look like street cars that have been converted to this class right you know maybe they throw some different like lexan windows in there uh and like some sort of a roll cage or something right they're just slightly modified uh it's actually cool to see i really i really actually like it a lot <laughs> it's the red golf spins into the uh the wall there oh yeah see you get some good contact going on i'm liking this Damn, that was a pretty wicked spin there. Um, it, it's like... Man, how did he fit in there? Those things are, look so small, right? God, they're kind of cool. I bet those are a blast to drive. I bet those look like they're probably, what, little mo like motorcycle engines? In there? They're wicked. But I always thought it'd be fun to do something like this, like racing dirt with just some gutted out street car, you know, manual transmission, four cylinder screaming. That would be fun. So this is right up my alley. I, I really I actually think I would enjoy this for sure. 
watching it and of course I would love to like drive a course like this. I actually like the course a lot. How it's just carved into this hillside. It's actually really neat. And it's a nice wide track. Like this the surface is actually really smooth. Even though it's dirt. Oh my god, there's tires flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so awesome. This is carnage. Yeah, they do have roll cages in them, okay. And then they have like little makeshift lights. Uh, yeah, so shocking that those cars even have the stock tail lights in. Usually they remove them as like this car did. Um, that car totally hit the wall as well. I really like the track though. Like I said, look at how manicured it is. It looks nice. It's really cool how it's just carved into to the landscape there. It's actually really satisfying to watch. Totally different presentation than a dirt track here. That car just driving on, shit. Wow, that's actually a beautiful area. Look at it, it's actually mountainous. Wow. This is in, um, what is this, Soxenburg? Probably saying that wrong, I do apologize, but uh, that's where it is. And I believe this is Germany. Dang, look at them slide nose. I mean, cool matchups too, you got golfs versus civics. Sound pretty wicked. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> they do a standing start, I love it. Oh, what is that? That's like a, that was a Toyota, um, oh, I'm not sharp this morning. Was that a Celica? I don't know. That, that Mitsubishi is awesome. That is awesome. Look at the Quattro over there, what? Oh, these look like, hold up. This looks like a different class. These look like they're maybe a couple steps above what we were watching earlier. You saw that? They actually had like the full on rally wheels and everything. I think those might have been, they had like a higher ride height. Okay, you guys gotta have to explain that. It might be different classes then, for sure. And this looks like more of the street class, you know, like more accessible, right? Yeah, there's a Celica. are wicked. Are these things expensive? Like, it makes you wonder. They're pretty insane. Like, I wonder if these are more expensive than that regular street class. I would assume so, right? I, I have a feeling these are, like, not super expensive in, in race car terms because the racing world is, is very pricey, right? But I have a feeling they're still a pretty penny. I mean, these things are pretty cool, dude. I mean, they're definitely purpose-built. Oh, are they all-wheel drive? Let's see the way this launches. They almost look like they're all-wheel drive. I think they might be. That Audi TT is pretty cool. It's called the TT in Europe, right? Because over here, this is called the Audi TT. I hope it's called that over there. Otherwise, you'd be like, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> Oh, look at that. What is that uh, black thing? That's a EK Civic. I don't know what the black one was. Dang, that Mitsubishi even sounds nice. That thing's pretty wicked. Got the flag guy, green flag. Look at the exhaust. Holy crap. It comes out right there in the middle of the damn car. And it's loud. Damn, I want to try this out. This looks fun. This is a great suggestion. Wow. You know, I have seen something similar before. We saw only mm, maybe like two or three months ago, 
I saw a video on a similar course. I believe it was in the UK. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I've done so many videos. Sometimes they fuse together in my head. I think I think it was in the UK, and it was a lot of. It was kind of like this, right? This it might have been called autocross. I I do apologize if it was. I I don't remember. It was Group B cars. Like it was literal, like Group B spec cars from the 80s. Uh, but in present day, and they were racing them, and it was really cool to see, right? So, yeah, I, I guess I might have delved into this just a tad with with that video, but this is more of a rounded, like, you get to see different classes. And what I like about it is, you know, I'm someone who just, who appreciates amateur classes just as much as the the big shows, right? Everyone knows NASCAR, Formula One, Le Mans, you know, that's like big money, big time, right? But you know what? Racing's racing. Like, it can be just as fun, in my opinion, you know, instead of racing an 800 horsepower dedicated, you know, uh, race car, it, it could be fun to take one of these cars and, and modify them to be a race car and go on a track and, and just beat on it. I, I think, in my opinion, if you're a car guy, like, you, you understand that that could be just as fun in a way, right? So, yeah, this is really cool, especially because I grew up around, I guess, a super Americanized different version of this, right? Uh, dirt track racing, short track racing, you know, um, same kind of rough, uh, gritty sport, right? All the different fun colors and paint schemes, all the different beat-up cars, and, uh, you know, a lot of passing, a lot of bumping, a lot of spinning out, and it's just kind of exciting, right? We'll look at one more launch here. Look at that. That's so cool. Really cool camera angles we got here. A lot of these cars, I don't even know what they are. Like that white one. Uh, this white one in the foreground here is a Peugeot because it said Peugeot. Pretty funny looking. It's cool to see for me because... A lot of these cars, of course, you would not see over here, period. So, but yeah, I've never seen anything like that here. Also, these these little race cars are pretty cool. Oh, what is that? Some sort of um, rope or cord? I don't know what that was about. Yeah, look at the way they drift those things. I love that. That's that's dirt, though, right? I mean, that's what you do on the short tracks, even the ovals here. You, you don't even barely use the brakes. You, <laughs> you whip that um, ass end around, and you carry that power slide through the whole corner. And then you have spin outs and, and uh, contact like that. Ooh, look at this Audi in front. That looks just like the, uh, the old days, like the actual Group E aesthetic there. Oh. Yeah, this looks pretty fun, dude. Audis everywhere. I love it. I mean, you're in Germany, right? I, I believe it's in Germany. Really, really cool. I do appreciate that suggestion. That's that's a thumbs up for me. That looks like a lot of fun. I'm assuming these courses, I, you know, the only thing I can say is we didn't get like a wide look of the of the uh, course. I'm not sure what kind of shape it is. I You know, I, it's hard to really, in my head, like, clip these little video clips together and if you know I, I don't know exactly what the track is shaped like i guess you know i would assume they go around to different courses right so i'm gonna assume there's different uh, layouts different course lengths you know things like that um yeah if you want to weigh in on that i do appreciate it but yeah basically if, if i <laughs> if you take like a different version of me if i had uh, not grown up in america on kind of our motorsports that are sort of like this in a way if you get what i mean uh you know I, if i would have been the european version of me you know growing up this probably would have been my jam right like i would have liked all motorsports like i still do now but like this would have been like most relatable like in person right seeing a lot of this because i've seen it seems like a million of uh you know short track racing here in the u.s so but anyway guys throw a thumbs up on there if you did enjoy this and of course subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here my name is ian you're watching iw rocker and until next time y'all catch you later